So mass shade is essentially black shade. They're the exact same thing, except the mass use the shade in such high quantities that they basically warp physics. Black shade is used to make enemy weapons brittle. Some shade users have discovered that it can cool down things, but it usually gets used to make things brittle, or in rare cases as a element that uh, makes crafting weapons easier. Mass shade, the high quantity version of black shade, basically affects gravity. It doesn't really affect gravity, just the relative weight of things by affecting the mass of their atomic cores and their electrons and their neutrons simultaneously. And it's a thing. Very long physics explanation, but basically it has an effect on gravity. The mass can levitate an enemy, they can super cool them, they can use this shade to travel in space. Not in a bending space-time or bending space kind of way, but as an actual high-speed particle emissions engine thing. It's a very long, complicated physical explanation, and I would have to go into solar polarity, supersymmetry, and a bunch of other stuff, but essentially it has an effect on the core physics of matter. It doesn't uh, manipulate radiation, although it could potentially affect the half-life of objects, but it basically just deals with the mass of things, making them heavier by tightening up the smallest parts and by manipulating the level of pressure applied to the smallest components of mass, it can accelerate those smallest components and that causes a gravitational effect on the environment. In simple, in smaller amounts, this effect essentially just affects how stable the structure of mass is. It makes things brittle, it uh, cools things down. But in high enough amounts, it can do some serious stuff.